when once we generate the symbol the next step uh, in our design flow is to go for simulation right uh, to go for simulation obviously as we did in the uh, digital uh, design so you have to create a test circuit first and for the test circuit you have to perform the simulation by giving corresponding VDD values corresponding you know parameter values you have to check for the simulation then uh, we will do that now so how to do that so just first close this symbol I'll just close this symbol now in the schematic circuit go to file in the file you have to create a new file because I am creating a test circuit for this right so I need a new file in order to perform the preload simulation when you click on new file so there is a library test one it's the library which I have created so cell name it will ask for so I'll give it as because in this, this is an inverter circuit I'll give this as inverter test circuit and so if you give the proper name it will be hel helpful for us to you know, find out which is the file name for uh, test circuit or for schematic all these things okay now so once we uh, uh, given the file name so click OK so when you click OK so a new window will appear for creating a test circuits so this is my schematic so below before beside that only it will create one more uh, window fine here to create the test circuit you don't have to you know utilize this schematic circuit so you are already created the symbol using that symbol you will create a test circuit fine for that first I have to invoke the symbol instance the symbol that I have created fine so how to uh, import that is you can go to create and select instance in the instance you have to search for that symbol that I have created that means you can go to browse in the browse you have to search for that symbol in my library because that is saved in the library that I have created so test one is the library that I had created right inside that inverter schematic is my symbol <coughs> right so now I have selected the symbol I'll just close this see this is the symbol I have created so I'm just importing it fine okay now this is the inverter schematic symbol now you can cross verify it so whether what is there inside this schematic circuit you can just uh, select it and right click you can go to descend read option the shortcut is E if you select here it will show see so inside this there is a circuit that I have created fine that is the advantage of using the symbols okay so now I have to connect the components that are required fine to perform the simulation right that is VDD VSS I need V out pin I need as well as V in I need right first I'll give the VDD so same thing you can go to instance create instance inside the instance you have to browse for analog instances or analog components because this is analog experiment because I need to connect analog components so I have to search for those components in analog lib okay so analog lib is the tool sorry uh, the library that has the all the analog components so for VDD here we use VDC VDC is the component fine I have selected I'll just close this so what are the values you have to give for VDC right so that you have to give so in the VDC I'll give 1.1 1 .1 volt so you don't have to type V so only 1.1 1 .1 volt that's it so so volt it will take automatically just left click on this so it has taken fine so that is the only thing I'll going to give it for VDC because that is the so why I'm giving 1.1 1 .1 volt itself why I'm not giving any other values okay for 45 nanometer technology that we are using here so this is the minimum volt that I suppose to give in order to have a so the sufficient voltage that I have to give for to establish or to you know create the channel between source and drain 
that is the minimum voltage that is required okay or in other words this is a sufficient voltage that is required just whereas in one point four one eighty nanometer technology we were using uh, two point four volt right? so because it's forty five it's reduced okay, just hide this I'll place the component here okay because the positive has to be connected to this and negative has to be connected to uh, ground right okay now uh, I need input V in right so again go to create instance browse for here uh, for inverter I don't have analog signal but I can give continuous pulses right so for that I'll select V pulse because this is not an amplifier is whatever the input I give it will give you as an inverted output right? for that I'll select V pulse close this the parameter you have to set is first you have to give DC voltage 1.1 voltage AC magnitude 1 volt then it is asking for voltage levels V1 and V2 this is because of its pulse so what is the zero value and what is the highest magnitude fine you have to give so let it be V so V0 sorry V1 voltage 1 will be let it be 0 volt and volt V2 I'll give it as 1.1 volt okay and then it is asking for pulse period I'll give it as 100 microseconds okay so 100 micro that you have to type seconds it will take automatically but 100 microsecond is the one complete cycle period or the duration of one complete cycle okay then uh, once you give the pulse period you have to give the pulse width also because you have to define the duty cycle so how much each pulse should uh, the duration should be so however you want you know do you want an asymmetric signal or asymmetric signal that you have to give so pulse width uh, uh, because I need uh, you know uh, symmetry pulses I'll give it has 50 micro seconds and this will be 50 percent duty cycle okay so in uh, V pulse I have given the DC voltage AC magnitude then voltage levels from 0 to 1.1 volt then pulse period 100 micro then pulse width 50 microseconds and place it place here somewhere here now I need ground because for VSS is 0 it needs to be grounded so I'll take the ground here here only you can type G and D if you type G and D it will take ground or you can select you can browse it and select it and for ground you don't have to you know value, edit anything so I need need this negative has to be connected to ground of VDC then VSS negative has to be connected to ground then V in negative has to be connected to ground fine and uh, I left with the output so output there is no you know uh, module is there or component is there we have to create a output pin fine for that you have to go to create create pin V out you have to select this is the output I have to create right. so I will select I will place here now I have placed all the components so I need to interconnect so I'll select a wire from here or you can go to create wire you can select here also okay fine now this has to be connected then positive of VDC has to be connected to VDD then VSS is connected here and output is connected to V out fine so you can here set this is the border so if this within border this component should not cross so that's why I have placed all the components outside of this okay this is the test circuit now I have created the test circuit so once you've created the test circuit then we have to go for simulation then first I'll save this save the file now I have to do the simulation 